Here's our next one. Good evening. You're live on the air. Hey, it's Bebo. Uh, I just wanted to ask you, what do you, how confident you are that Trump's going to win uh, this election? Uh, all I can say is, I mean, I will never have total confidence in anything because anything can happen. But I will say, if we manage to keep these ballots fair, clean, and legitimate, uh, Trump's going to win 47 out of 50 states. I I agree with you, and uh, the reason I am pretty confident that he's going to win now is the other day with Walmart pulling their guns and ammos off the shelf, it tells me that they're expecting violence. Oh yeah. Which tell which tells me that they're ex- even the big guys are expecting Trump to win. Oh yeah. They already know Trump's going to win. And the, the idiots they're going to try something, but unfortunately what's going to happen is this is going to be when Trump invokes the insurrection act because there's no more political shit to worry about. He doesn't have to play politics anymore now. Now he's a second-term president. He is fully locked in there, and what he does is going to have the lasting impression. A first term is always a president's weak term because they have to w- run for re-election. So they have to make sure they have the favor of the people. Once you get in for that second term, all bets are off. Just like when Obama won his second term, that there was nothing the Republicans were going to do to stop him. They were fucked. And as if the Republicans were going to stop him to begin with, because let, let's face it, up until Trump, the GOP were in on the scam. Most of them either, A, were getting a little fucking slice of the pie, or B, somebody was dangling some dirt over their head to make them fucking dance like the little pussies that they are. One or the other. Yeah. I, I just hope it don't get too bad after the uh, elections, you know. And, uh, you know, we, we still as a nation, we got to decide which uh, uh, direction we're going to go. Uh, this this is getting us nowhere, this back and forth. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I truly feel if Republicans lose, I don't think there will be any revolting or going to the streets. I don't see our side acting in that manner. And that's when uh, it should I happen. Think- yeah you're right but seriously <laughs> seriously that that will be that if biden wins this election and they reclaim the house and or take the senate either or like we not only do we need to win the white house which is the most imperative the thing equally as imperative is we got to take the house yeah we don't well, take the house we're going to pull our pricks for another at least two years uh, to be honest with you, if, if Trump cannot beat Biden, whatever you think about Hillary Clinton, I, I believe she was a more form, formidable foe than Biden. If, if Trump cannot beat Biden, the Republican Party is going to be in trouble for a long time, in my opinion. Well, Trump, Trump can beat Biden. That, that's not even the question. The only way he's going to lose this election is if they steal it. Some fun, some shenanigans are going to take place because they have even admitted that they can't beat him. They've already admitted that they've lost. You could see it in their faces. Like, they, they know they're fucked. Some of them, I, I'm just wondering why they still keep pushing as hard as they do. Is all this Q shit correct with uh, the money laundering and the mafia schemes that they have running? I mean, most of us can probably confidently say, yeah, it is true. But there are so many out there that still believe the mainstream garbage that Trump is this fucking awful person, that he is literally Hitler. And it fucking makes me sick, especially when he's the one producing real hard proof to back up everything he says. And all they have is fucking Adam Schiff and Nancy Pelosi going out there and just fucking leaving little two second sound bites that don't mean a goddamn thing. See, that's why they hate Trump, though, is because he broke the golden rule of politicians. You're never supposed to snitch on another politician enriching his family through politics. And then they also hate him because you've seen the rise of alternative media like uh, OAN and uh, uh, First Network. And they're scared of that, the media. They don't like it. Yeah, they don't want competition. I enjoy your show, though. I enjoy your show. That's all I have, man. You're great. You crack me up. And, uh... Uh, I really enjoy it. Thanks, man. Well, thank you very much, my friend. I appreciate it. Have a good one.
All right, that was an excellent call. Uh, yeah, I mean, this show, we're not going to be competing with CNN or MSNBC, but a guy I would like to compete with, maybe fucking Jimmy Kimmel or uh, even Bill Maher or something like that. Let's